Alright, so this set of switches right here is hooked up to a NOT gate, and this is the joystick. So if you're not using the joystick, it'll activate this rotator, which um, basically has zero rotation speed, so it stops the car from continuing to spin out. This is my main uh, rotator for steering. Um, the reason why it has all these switches hooked up to it is because over here I have a different rotator that is set up for reverse. Because if you noticed, if you played the Little Big Prius level, um, when you started to back up, it would continue to turn the wrong way and it just felt awkward. It still worked okay, but it, it wasn't um, perfect. So if you look at here, I have the left and right stick hooked up to a direction splitter so it takes this and it splits it so the negative goes to the positive and the positive goes to the negative and you can use this for a whole bunch of stuff if you want um, reverse controls that's all you have to do to reverse the left and right and then you hook that up to another rotator and then the on and off switch just checks for the reverse button which is my uh, L2 here. So this gate right here checks to make sure you're not holding reverse and that branches off around to both of these AND gates. Then this one checks to make sure you're not holding gas and what that means is if you're not holding gas I still want you to be able to steer. So it runs through this OR gate and then this one checks to make sure you are running gas. And then you hook that up to the on switch of the advanced rotator. Okay. And now, um, while the normal movers have acceleration, what I've basically done here is set up this timer. Um, you can change it to whatever you want, but what this does is it sort of penalizes the player for letting go of the gas so I've set it up so when you hit the gas it takes a full second to to grip the road again so you hit the gas and then it starts this timer and then this timer is hooked up to the um, the strength scale of this mover which means when you're first hitting that button it's going to be really slow and then as you get up to the full second it gets to full acceleration and you can do little tweaks like that to make um, the physics a little more realistic so down here I have my uh, turning mechanism this is what grips the road when you turn uh, I have left and right hooked up to a direction splitter meaning if the player hits either left or right either one will work goes through this OR gate which starts um, this timer and this I believe just checks for um, it, it just checks for uh, if you're going in reverse or not so this timer starts this mover, the speed is 30, the local space is set to yes, that's always a requirement, uh, acceleration is 70, deceleration is 70. And then we can compare that to the normal mover, which is 50 speed, 70 acceleration, and 40 deceleration. So basically when you hit those turns it slows you down a little bit. Um, but if you're holding the R2 button with the gas, it'll it'll keep going. It'll keep you up to speed. So this is the reverse mechanism. The L2 button is hooked up to this NOT gate, so if the player lets go of the L2 button, it'll reset this timer. And then we go through our mover settings here. All you have to do is make it a negative number for reverse. And then all the other settings can be the same. Uh, one important setting is to set this to strength scale. Um, you can also try speed scale um, but on and off isn't going to work as well. Um, 
you have to have some sort of scale if you hook it up to a timer or a counter. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope it was helpful, and I hope to see a whole bunch of uh, racing levels out soon. Thanks for watching. And one more thing to consider here. Um, I just rammed my car into the wall and it broke into pieces, so uh, keep that in mind when you're choosing how fast the car should accelerate.